Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a inspiration style video. I don't know exactly how preachy I'm going to get with it, but I'm just going to go with it because I really felt like I needed to share this story and I know that there's going to be so many of you out there who need to hear this right now. So today I just want to encourage you guys to kill those limiting beliefs and I'm going to do this by telling you a story of something that happened to me recently. So this actually happened yesterday. I was having such a low day. Like, I don't know what it is, you know, when, well, I do know what it is now. It was my time of the month, but that's, I know that's a bit like TMI, but anyway, at the time I did not know what was wrong with me. Like I always get caught off guard every single month. I get caught off guard. Didn't know what was wrong. I just woke up in the worst mood ever and I could not pinpoint what it was. I was just feeling stressed and overwhelmed. And I was just unable to focus on everything. I felt so frustrated. I literally felt like my mind was in paralysis and it was really frustrating me and I was getting really upset and I just didn't feel like doing anything that day but I knew I had so much to do and then one of my new friends that I've met over in Bali called Cherie, she is just an angel sent from above, like she's just amazing and she's also got a business and we've been really helping each other out and it's just been amazing. So basically she contacted me with an opportunity that I could have had and in order to get this opportunity I would have had to reach out to this woman like this middle-aged woman and contact her through LinkedIn and then arrange a video call with her and I was just in the mindset of I can't do this because how I was already feeling that day I just felt like I cannot do this how am I meant to ring this woman like she is not going to take me seriously she's not going to want to take me on board like this op I'm not going to be able to get this opportunity and all of these things I was thinking was just limiting beliefs telling myself I can't do this I'm not worthy of this this is all limiting beliefs so anyway long story short I ended up calling her because I thought right I, Cherie's just got out of a way to help me I cannot let her down and I just didn't want to let myself down in the long run so I ended up reaching out to this woman on LinkedIn I barely had a LinkedIn profile before that so I quickly sorted out my LinkedIn profile contacted her she replied straight away was like yeah call me now my stomach literally sank because I was thinking oh my gosh like, like she was so much older than me I felt intimidated I felt like I just wasn't going to be taken seriously at all but I ended up calling her anyway. The call went amazing. She was the most amazing, loveliest woman I've ever spoke to. And it turns out she's actually a coach as well. And this is the crazy thing about being in Bali or I don't even think it's more of a Bali thing. I just feel like it's when you're aligned and on the right path in life, the right opportunities will find you. So I was literally saying to Cherie the day before, I could really do with a coach. I feel like I'm at that stage in my life where I need my own coach, but I was just thinking right now financially, it's probably not something I can afford. So how the next day I end up bringing this woman, a call that I was so scared to take, like I was thinking, is there any excuse I can make? Like I was thinking I wanted to get myself out of it, but I just pushed through the limited belief that I couldn't do it and I did it anyway. And it turns out she was a coach and she's willing to coach me for free. So that just goes to show all it takes is for you to have a bit of confidence in yourself and push through that limiting belief and you do not know what is waiting for you on that other side. Imagine if I would have made up an excuse. Imagine if I would have been like, oh, I really don't feel well today. I'm not going to call her. Imagine if I just ignored it. I wouldn't have been able to have such an amazing and insightful and knowledgeable conversation with an older woman that's much wiser than me, but she never made me feel small or made me feel like I'm inadequate. She just was singing my praises as well pretty much so it's just it's crazy that we set all these boundaries for ourselves and we set all these limited beliefs that we can't do this we're not worthy of doing that we're too young to do that like we're not qualified enough to do this and all it takes is having a bit of confidence and trying like no one is gonna shoot you down for trying and if they do all you need to do is get back up and try again try something different you never know what's waiting for you on the other side of your limiting belief so i really want to encourage you guys to just go ahead and push through whatever it is you want to do, whether you want to start a blog, whether you want to make a YouTube channel, whether you want to join a dance class, whatever your limiting belief is, something that you feel like you cannot do, go out there and do it because 
after that call, I just felt on top of the world. I felt so invincible and empowered and just so much better than I felt earlier in that day. And Cherie was the person who believed in me and believed that I could do it. So I want to be that person who believes in you and believes that you can do it. So I really want you to just go out there and do whatever it is that you need to do right now. So that is my little story of the day, my little rant, preach, inspirational talk, whatever you want to call it. But limiting beliefs are just things that we have in our head and all it takes is for you to just shift them to the side and do what it is you want to do anyway. And I can assure you there will be a benefit or a lesson at the other side. That's it for this video and I will see you in my next one. Peace.